Six and a half years ago, I walked into a jiu-jitsu academy for the first time thinking that I was going to mop the mats with everyone. I won't let up. strong wrestler base. I had wrestled for many years and I was fairly decent. My brother was already practicing at this gym and he was a white belt at the time. He invited me to come train and I gladly took him up on it. Now, six and a half years ago, I was very into powerlifting and with my background in wrestling, I had a very high false sense of confidence. Long story short, we walked in, we did some techniques because I had a wrestling background. They allowed me to spar a little bit and I got absolutely destroyed by a guy who was 40 pounds less than me. And I will never forget it. It was one of the most humbling moments of my life. And it was in that moment I realized I need to learn the superpower, this thing called jujitsu. So with that being said, these are the eight reasons why you should start training jujitsu today. Let's jump in. Here in the beginning of the video, we're going to start with more obvious reasons to train jujitsu. And as we get closer to the end, I'll talk about more or less obvious reasons to train jujitsu. Number one, it builds confidence. What I found to be one of the more interesting aspects of jujitsu as I begin to develop, being that I'm a three stripe purple belt now, six and a half years of experience, I've seen enough to realize that most people without training have no idea what they're doing in a fight. I'll never forget the time I was on a bachelor party. We were all pre-gaming, having a good time. And I was a two-stripe white belt at the time. And for whatever reason, everyone started fighting. It turned into this big WWF type, Royal Rumble type sparring thing. And I jumped in with a little bit of jujitsu I knew at the time, obviously using that on people who don't train at all. And I felt like I was doing whatever I wanted. I could shoot triangles at will. I was getting arm bars at will. Obviously not hurting anybody. We were all playing around. It was amazing to see how effective the techniques were with just two stripes on a white belt. And even at one point, one of my buddies asked me if I was a black belt, <laughs> which obviously he has no idea because he doesn't train and most people don't anyways, and that's fine. But that really speaks to the power of jujitsu. I wasn't doing anything special. I wasn't landing these things because I'm good at jujitsu. I was landing them because it works. And obviously because these people don't train, which is the general public. The general public does not train a martial art. Most people do not do any kind of training. By the time you get the blue belt, you will have a very great advantage over the general public when it comes to a hand-to-hand -hand combat scenario. With that, so much confidence was built. It also teaches you a lot of mental toughness. You're gonna get stuck in positions that don't feel good, that hurt, that are suffocating, and it teaches you to stay calm not panic, control your breathing. Think of your options, think through the problem and find a solution. And once you start seeing success with that, again, it builds more confidence. The next reason why you should train jujitsu is that it's a great workout, obviously. Not only is it great for stamina, cardiovascular stamina, muscular stamina, but also muscular strength. I've talked about this in previous videos. There's a reason why the smaller skinny guy feels so incredibly strong in your jujitsu gym. Not only has he learned the techniques to be efficient on the ground, he's also developed a lot of tensile strength, that grip strength, that shoulder strength, that core strength, that flexibility, all of those assets that make you feel strong in a fight. I've touched on this briefly when it comes to bodybuilders versus jujitsu, and those bodybuilders who don't have experience with jujitsu tend to not feel so strong in the mats. And that isn't an insult, it's just they're strong in a different way. So jujitsu is gonna give you that wiry strength, especially if you're training frequently, you're gonna be sore at first, but eventually that soreness will subside and you'll begin developing that that strength that makes you feel strong in a fight, which is a beautiful thing. And I always say, what well, good are your muscles if you don't have the stamina to back them up? There's nothing worse than gassing out in a fight. Even if you've got a lot of muscle, that muscle is no good if you gas out and you lose all your stamina. People who are already training jujitsu are going to know what I'm talking about. When you truly gas out and you have nothing left in the tank, I've been to the point where I just wanted to lose so I could catch my breath. And that's just me being transparent about that. I don't think that a lot of people will admit that, but I've been so tired before. I'm just like, oh, take it. Like, let's end this, you know? And that's on me. That's on you as the practitioner. That's your responsibility to be able to build your stamina up to a point where you can be effective in a fight. And jujitsu does that. I haven't gassed out like that in a long time. I've learned to be more efficient. I've learned to control my breathing. And I've learned to be more effective in my movements. But as a white belt, I gassed out all the time. And it's just part of the process. It's definitely a necessary evil that you learn a lot from. So if you find yourself gassing out as a beginner, don't worry, you're gonna get better as long as you keep making effort and taking steps to improve 
you will see improvement. Another great benefit of jujitsu is you're going to build amazing friendships. Some of my best friends are from the jujitsu gym. It's great to be surrounded by people with similar goals, similar aspirations, and a similar path to get to where they wanna go. In jujitsu, we all wanna become better. We wanna become more effective. We wanna become more efficient. And many of us want that belt promotion. Now, I've found that as I've gone up the belt system, the higher I get, the more I wanna push off the next belt. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? And I just think that's because you start to really take pride in your performance and you don't want to be over promoted. You want to make sure you're ready for that next belt. And that's your coach's job to determine that. Your coach is going to know better than you if you're ready or not. So it's just good to trust them in that and let them do their thing while you do your best to learn and become efficient along the way. And with that, if you're new to jujitsu or you're thinking about joining, I can promise you that jujitsu gyms are not as scary as you might think they are. To someone from the outside looking in, you're walking into a room full of people you don't know, they all know how to fight, they all fight each other for fun, they all choke each other for fun, they all bend their arms and legs the wrong way for fun, that can be intimidating to certain people, and I understand that. But the beautiful thing about jujitsu is you tap if something hurts too much and it's over. If you train with people who you trust, especially as a white belt, I wouldn't recommend sparring against other white belts unless they've got some experience. That's kind of where we see most of the worst injuries when you have two untrained people going 100% against each other. You as a white belt are gonna have a much safer match with a purple belt, a brown belt, and even a black belt. Though those are higher belts, they have much more control, they know what they're doing, they know not to spin the wrong way in a heel hook, they know to let go if you spin the wrong way. So you're gonna be way safer if you pick upper belts to work with. We wanna keep people safe. That's the main priority. So as a newbie to a jujitsu gym, it can seem intimidating, but you're going to make a lot of really good friendships in there. And for the most part, jujitsu people are some of the nicest people I've ever met. They're some of the most humble and hardworking. And that's because we all started as a white belt at one point. We've all had that match that humbled us probably early in our career as a jujitsu practitioner, like I did when I walked in thinking I was going to out wrestle and out power everyone than only to be submitted by someone much smaller than myself. If the idea of starting in a new jiu-jitsu gym intimidates you for these reasons, go try a free membership. Most gyms offer that, and I think that you will like what you see. And with anything, if you try the jiu-jitsu gym and there's people there who you don't vibe with, you don't like the attitude, you don't like the vibe of the place, you can always go find a separate gym. Now, my main school's in Cleveland, but on Sundays it's closed, so on Sundays I'll go visit other open mats in the area. I've been to a handful of other schools out here, and everyone's always been nice inviting and eager to teach me their secrets if I ask. Jiu-Jitsu people are probably some of the best people on the planet, I promise you that. I think if you give it a shot, you're gonna like what you see. The next benefit of starting Jiu-Jitsu is it's great for self-development. For example, the belt system. Jiu-Jitsu has one of the slowest ranking belt systems in all of martial arts, and it's for a good reason. You've got a lot to learn, but it also teaches you patience, and it teaches you that as a white belt, you don't have to be good as a beginner, and in fact, you shouldn't be good as a beginner. And in fact, as a white belt, one of the first things you're gonna to begin to develop is your defense, which is great. You're gonna get submitted a lot and you learn from that. You get to take that with you and it solidifies a good defensive game. But guess where else that applies to? Literally anything in life. If I start a new business venture, I can't expect to be good at it in the beginning. If I'm just starting a fitness journey in the gym, I can't expect to be good at this in the beginning. I'm a white belt. The white belt journey is all about making mistakes and learning from them, building that confidence and taking those lessons with you so that you have them further down the road. And this is just one parallel that you can draw. Things like getting to a good position before shooting a submission. Position over submission is a mindset I love to incorporate in all of my life. I can't go out here in life and wildly grab at my goals that I want. I have to have a system in place. I wanna be strategic. I wanna have a plan. I wanna to get to a good place that sets me up for success and then go ahead and affect my effort there. It's the same thing in jujitsu. You wanna to get to a good position before you affect a submission. You can't wildly just throw up arm bars and, and triangles. I mean, I suppose you can if you get good at flying triangles and flying arm bars, but typically, especially as a white belt, you need to learn the positions first before you can go ahead and shoot for that submission. And honestly, I could probably make a whole video about the parallels you can draw between jujitsu and life, but you get the idea. You're gonna to learn to connect a lot of lessons from jujitsu to life, and it's really, really eye-opening, and it's honestly helped me find success in other areas of my life. Okay, the next benefit, it is especially good for the smaller, weaker person. Jiu-Jitsu was designed for a smaller, weaker person to beat a bigger, stronger person. And where this comes into play really well is if you're a woman or you're a smaller guy. 
Now, if you're a bigger guy, you're a strong guy, jujitsu is great as well. You can definitely apply this to your game and become a freight train of a human being. But for the smaller person, the weaker person, you learn to become effective at the techniques, you learn to use leverage to your advantage, and you learn to string together attacks and positions to put yourself in a position of advantage. And you don't have to wait till you have a couple stripes in your belt to learn the effectiveness of jujitsu. When you start at a new school, you're going to see that. Once you get to the point where you're sparring other people, you're gonna probably end up sparring someone who's smaller than you and they're probably going to beat you and that's okay it's a part of the journey it happened to me it happens to literally everyone but it presents an important lesson that you get to take with you for the rest of your life one that you'll build on for the remainder of your years as a jiu-jitsu practitioner the next benefit of training jiu-jitsu is you really never know when training a martial art will come in handy we live in a violent world that's just the facts. And the more options you have in your tool belt to defend yourself, the better you're going to be. A lot of situations that happen in life that are violent happen very quickly. I'm always surprised when people are shocked at how violent violence is. And of course you'll have the gun guys and gals out there who just say, oh, I'm just gonna rely on my gun. But that's not always a reasonable answer. Someone can tackle you and you're underground and they're on top of you and their legs are around your waist. And you can't get to what you wanna to get to. You need to learn how to get out of that situation safely and then control your opponent in however way that may look until help arrives. And piggybacking on some of the points I made earlier, that heightened sense of confidence, that ability to stay calm under stressful situations, to control your breathing, to find and seek out solutions while you're put in a bad position is more valuable than I can put words to. Now, I'm not saying jujitsu is the answer for everything. Of course, there's gonna be situations where it may not apply. But for the majority of situations that I'm talking about, jujitsu is gonna be a great response. I love the quote, I'd rather be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. And if you know who said that without Googling it, comment down below, that's bonus points for you. All right, last but not least, not all the benefits of jujitsu, but the final benefit in this video of jujitsu is it clears your mind. If you're someone like me, where your brain is constantly on the go and it's hard to turn it off, jujitsu is a beautiful thing because it makes you focus on what's happening right in front of you. When I'm training jujitsu, whether that's drilling or sparring, I cannot think about what groceries need to be bought, what bills need to be paid, or what I need to do when I get home. I'm thinking about how to progress the situation I'm in. I'm thinking about how can I get to a position of advantage. I'm thinking about how can I get myself out of this horrible situation and not get submitted. For me, there are very few things in life that allow me to only focus on one thing, and jujitsu is that. So I know that if you're someone who struggles with a mind that constantly races, you will appreciate jujitsu fairly immediately. As I said earlier, there's a lot to learn and it can almost feel like drinking water from a fire hose to a certain degree because you're getting a little bit while everything else spills out around your feet and that's totally normal, but it keeps your mind focused on one thing and I love that. For me, jujitsu is physical exertion, but it's a mental break in a way. I've heard many people compare jujitsu to chess, but with people and geese or no geese. So if you're someone who struggles with a mind that won't stop, I think you'll really appreciate jujitsu. And those are my nine reasons why you should start jujitsu today. I could honestly do a two hour video on the totality of all the benefits of jujitsu because it is immense, but I wanna put this out there because I think there's a lot of people that think about it and then may shy away from it, whether they're intimidated or they just don't know enough. So the chances that you already train jujitsu are probably pretty high if you're watching this video. But if you have a friend, a spouse, husband, wife, cousin, best friend, whoever, who's been thinking about training jujitsu and they've been on the fence, Send them this video because it may help. Starting any new endeavor can be intimidating, but with a little bit of help, a little bit of support, I think that most people will find that jujitsu is an amazing thing to incorporate into your everyday life. And with that being said, y'all, that's the end of the video. I hope you got something out of this. If you enjoyed the video, hit a thumbs up for me. It lets me know that you liked the video and it tells me what I should create more of. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos that you wanna see, comment those down below. I'm an open book and I'm here to be a resource. So with that being said, eat plants, train hard, and feel good. I'll see you in the next one.